Hi guys, welcome to Bookish Shayla. Today we are going to be making some more page kits, but part one of that is going to be me showing you the nine, I think it's nine, that I had left over from the crop that I went to a week ago, two weeks ago, middle to end of April. I went to a one day crop. It was like, um, 10 hours long. I think I took 20 page kits, I think, and I did 11 of them. So I'm going to look through my kits really, my leftover ones really quick and just see if there's anything in them that I need to uh, change or add to or whatever. And then I'm going to turn off the camera and we're going to, I'm going to get some stuff together so that we can start making the page kits for my three day, like, 30 hour no okay it's not 30 hour yeah it probably is like 31 hour crop that I'm going to over national scrapbook day so let's look and see what I've already got so if you watched my previous page kits you've seen these I'm going to go really quickly through them just to make sure I've got everything I need so I have a picture I have an idea. I have this simple storage, simple story, not storage, page kit or happy scrappy bag that has all kinds of stuff in it. I have some um, flare. I have this big sticker. That was kind of my page starter. Oh, those goes in there. Those are the bits and pieces. I have some acrylic. I have some wood veneer. Um, I do need to look and see if I have paper that's kind of like that or if I'm going to need to bring some uh, uh, mixed media. So let me look really quick and see paper-wise if I have one that I can kind of achieve that. Let's see. What do I have here? Because I have used this. I love this collection so much. It is so pretty. It's going all different directions, though. Okay. Hmm. I mean, it's not exactly the right idea, but I might could do that. Could use that as a background. Or that. That's the same paper I already that, that, pineapple, that's a scrap, that's a scrap, another pineapple, ooh, that's so pretty, and then the flamingos on the back of that one. Oh yeah, okay, I can use that. Yeah, the paper that's in here, I can give kind of that same idea. The only thing is, in case I want, like, the circle that this has, I should probably, I'm, and I'm just going to make notes because I'm not going to put it in this kit. I should probably add, like, a shimmers or something. Hold on. Let me just pull them out here that I have. Um, red, ooh, the orange, that orange might look good. I said I wasn't going to do this on camera. Ooh, I like that orange, but do I want to bring in the orange? Because that'd be something different from all the blue. Yes, okay, so I'm going to take that shimmers for the circle around. And I know everything else is blue in there, but I think that would um, add. And I'm going to put it on here. Use shimmers or circle. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to make me a little tally mark to make sure that I did have nine. Because if I try to count, I'll lose count really quickly because I'm really bad. I'm an English teacher, not a math teacher, for very obvious reasons. Okay. I just dropped that. All right. So that one's got all the stuff plus a lot. Next. 
Oh, it's my feather kit. Okay, so it's these pictures from the Chickasaw Cultural Center. And I have this sketch here that I'm going to use. So it looks like I need one, two, three, four papers. So do I have four papers I can use? Okay, I'm gonna use this for sure. And I have some that I can use for the back so that I can use the arrows for a strip and I could use probably this one. Okay, so if I put that, I want, I want this to be that. And I know it's busy, but I still want it. So then I could do the arrows for a strip, which isn't so much. And I could even do either the red or the blue for a strip. And then the background paper could be, um, I have all three of these colors. So I have the paper. Actually, I have two pieces of, oh, that's eek, eek. I probably won't use that, but I have that. And then I have, do I have all kinds of embellishments? I have acrylics, I have flare, I have enamel dots, I have stamps. I have a freckled fawn, so I could use labels or whatever. I have some cork. I have, um, I just don't know that I'm going to use these because, let me see what the other ones say. I thought I had a different picture. Love your guts, don't forget this. Yeah, I could do those. The don't forget this, today's story and cherish this. Okay, so I will keep those in there. And then I have some wood veneer arrows. So yes, all right. That one looks good. Um, There's no kind of mixed media or anything on there. I will take a color, let's see, red tan, maybe a tan to do my arrows with. Um, let me get, um, how about the desert sand? That's pretty tan for the flax and I'm going to do the desert sand. Okay, so I'm going to take this. I'm just making like a little pile over here. Okay, so that's two. This one had, it's these two pictures, and I'm going to use this with only two. Okay, this has some mixed media in the back, so let me look at my papers and see if there's anything that's similar or if I need to add some. I should have done this the first time, but I was running out of time, so I'm trying to start with and give myself plenty of time. Okay, these have all been used. These are all scrapped. Okay, there's that one. That might work. Yellow, there's yellow flowers. You know what, instead, I think I'm, oh, I think I'm just going to do kind of like that. And then maybe do this on top of that. I'd really rather do with a pink, but it is, there is a lot of green in it. Okay, so yeah. And then, okay, so I have my pictures. I have, for embellishments, I have epoxy. I have all kinds of wood veneer going on here. Look at all this wood veneer that I have. I have an acrylic that says photo, and I have all kinds of puffies. I pulled this freckled fawn. So yes, I think that one is good. I have it all turned around. I don't know if it'll fit back in here. Actually, this all does not fit in there. This doesn't need to go in this part, sorry. I have two bags, one bag for my uh, papers.
and then one bag for the whole kit. Oh, I have another acrylic that says today. So yes, I think that'll be enough for this one. And if you already saw me do this once, I apologize. Like I said, I just needed to make sure because I kind of started throwing things together at the last minute and I just need to make sure I've got everything I need. All right, this one. One photo. I'm going to use this and the reason I'm going to use this, I already know I've got everything I need in here. It's because of that paper right there. I have stickers, stamps, freckled fawn, epoxy, and acrylics. I don't have any wood veneer, but that's all right. I know this one is good. Oh, I will need some inks though. Um, I'll need a green, probably and maybe a dark blue. So let me get those ready. I need a really, really green, so like leaf green, or sweet leaf, and then a dark blue. So I'm gonna do outdoor dental. If you can't hear me, I'm sorry, I have to get up to. Okay, so I'm gonna take those. I should probably write that on the thing. Sweet Leaf Outdoor Dental. And I should do the same thing on the one where I got the brown out. Desert. making myself some notes so when I get there I don't go what was I thinking <laughs> that's four that's three why do I have four no that's four all right next up lots of stuff in this one okay there's the pictures and oh yeah this is the one of my daughter Mary Poppins I know I have plenty of embellishments, but I did put in this stencil. So I need something. Do I want to do paste? Do I want to just do, yeah, I have plenty. I have all kinds of embellishments with the kit. And then I have my epoxy. I have a couple of different epoxies. I have some acrylics. So yeah, I should be but my question is, do I want to do just ink? Because I thought where this thing, where this flower is, I could sweep out from under it. Or do I want to do, I think I'm going to take my black texture paste just in case. But yes, I know I have plenty of papers and everything for that one. So, because that's a whole big old kit of simple vintage essentials. Okay, so that makes five. Oh, whoops. Apparently I had a piece of black paper in there. Stick that in there just in case. Okay, next up. Another one that I know have plenty of stuff. I need to make sure I got what I need. This is the sweet life because I have these pictures of my kids and I at Krispy Kreme. I'm going to use this. I know I have plenty of embellishments. It doesn't look like I have a stamp or anything in here, so it doesn't look like I need any kind of mixed media. Although while I'm thinking about it, right? No mixed media. No, no kind of stamps. I am going to get my black 
shimmer spray for, um, you know, you know <laughs> what I'm talking about. Yeah. Cause I didn't have that last time. So I need that. Okay. Um, I have way too many embellishments. Plus I have an acrylic. It says it's all good. So that one is also definitely done. Splatters. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> splatters. Because I did not have it for splatters. And that always makes me sad. So that makes six. I need to get a different bag because that one is torn and I have so many that I might as well get a different one. All right, so this one. I have these four pictures. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna kind of do a deet, 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 deet on it. You know, a deet, 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 deet on it like that. And I can cut down some of this. So I have that. I have cardstock. Because I did not have a sketch with four, so I have to go on my own. I have a paper pad, the Simple Stories paper pad. I have my main stickers because I want to use this one down here. I have my main wood veneer, or my main, my lighthouse wood veneer. And I have Simple Stories stickers, foam stickers, um, page pieces. What else do I have in here? I have something else and then I have uh so let me put all these because these all go in this one actually that doesn't these go in this so let me put these in here so I have this whole collection plus I have blue I have bright blue, I have dark blue, I have two colors of red, I have white cardstock, I have my main stickers, I have the lighthouse, I have the pictures, and then I have these three wood veneer that matches that collection. Um, my question is, do I want to do, take something for back for... background or do I just want to layer up a whole bunch of paper? Um, hmm. I think I'm just going to layer up a whole bunch of paper. So that makes seven. Eight is this one. I think I have plenty of stuff in it. I have my picture. I have my inspiration. I have stamps for that. I have this um, die cut or cut, cut, mm hmm, yeah. And I have this one. I have my paper. I have plenty of paper. I have plenty of stickers. I have the flare. I have the wood veneer. I have these stickers. I have acrylics. My question is, what color ink do I need? I can use black and bluebird or candy apple. Let's see, do I have candy apple? No. So I'll just take bluebird and black. Um. But I think I will take my, I have this stencil. I don't know that you can even see it. It's little bitty musical notes. And I think I'll take that too. Okay. All right. So, got that. So that makes eight. Da 
that's eight. And then I think I should only have one more left over. Am I right? I am right. Look at me go. And this one is my New York. I have my um, Ellis Island pictures and I have this sketch. I have some stamps. I will probably either just use the black or um, the desert sand because it would match. And I have several different collections in here with all kinds of stuff. So I'm not gonna worry about it. I have stamps for it. I have some ribbon. I have stickers. So I think this one is also more than complete. So that makes nine kits that I am completely prepared with. I've got everything I need. So I think what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and post this video and then I'm going to do, I'm gonna try to get 20 more kits ready. So I think over the next few days, I will just do five kits at a time and um, show you my process step by step. I know I did that before and it was really long, but I think if I just do five at a time, I can get it to work. So thank you for joining me. I hope you come back and see what other kits I can put together. I want close to 30. Um, I know that'll be way too many, but I want to have plenty of... Um, easy ones and more difficult ones depending on how I'm feeling at the time and give me choices and stuff to do. So I will see you next time. Bye guys.